If you have no subscribers and no views on your channel, then I don't know, find another hobby. <laughs> Just kidding. There's only one way for you to get some organic traffic, and it's Google Ads. This can be the best way to make a grand entrance on YouTube while boosting the organic promotion algorithms. In today's video, I'll tell you how you can spend less on clicks and views and get your first loyal viewers and subscribers on a budget. I will demonstrate the entire process on this video about YouTube ads. It's funny, in the video about Google Ads, we're promoting a video about YouTube ads. Anyway, the first thing you need to do is setting up the advertisement campaign. To do so, click on a big plus, create a campaign, a new campaign. We need to choose a campaign without a goals guidance and in the content type choose videos. Then select custom and click continue. The next part is somewhat tricky. First, you select a video you want to promote and only after that you can select the type of an ad campaign. There are two main options to choose from, in stream and in feed. In feed appears in in between videos in people's feeds but in feed campaigns are costly since you're going to be paying for each view and click with in feed you are paying for irrelevant clicks some subscribers may become inactive and it really damages the retention plus the potential viewers can only see a thumbnail and the title and according to statistics 70 percent of all attracted viewers will watch no more than 30 seconds of your video which is not great in feed campaigns are not not really a good investment. In stream ads, on the other hand, require payment only for viewers who watch more than 30 seconds. And if your video is less than 30 seconds, you will pay only for those who watch it from start to finish. After an in-stream campaign, YouTube algorithms can more easily determine who is more likely to click on your videos. Plus, in-stream advertising is the most affordable. That's why I will recommend in-stream ad campaigns to all new YouTubers. When compared, in-feed provides a higher viewer to subscriber conversion rate because people are directed to a landing page with a subscribe button. But in-stream ads appear over the video people are watching and give no option to instantly subscribe. But they are harder to ignore too. So choose in feed only if you want to get subscribers fast. In all other cases, choose an in-stream campaign. Therefore, I will choose in-stream to increase watch time, boost the video search rankings, and save money by paying only for relevant traffic. Next, paste the link to the video you're promoting. The next thing is very important. Call to action. Type in watch now or video and the text will appear on the blue button. Never skip this step. One more thing, you can put a link to your channel in the final URL box. So the viewers will be sent directly to your channel after clicking on the ad. To make things even better, you can add this text, sub confirmation equals one, at the end of your channel URL so that the viewers will get a pop-up asking them to subscribe. Next, you can make the advertised video a trailer video of your channel. This way, after clicking on the ad, people will instantly start watching your video and get the subscription pop-up. So ad campaigns are a great thing and they are far more effective if your videos are creative and relevant. To keep up with YouTube trends, you have to create videos quickly and most importantly, make them really stand out. And this is what the new Movavi Video Suite 2023 and the unlimited access to the effects store may help you with. And what is Video Suite? Video Suite is an affordable and intuitive software platform that combines video editing, screen recording, and file conversion tools that don't require a powerful PC to run smoothly. The latest AI features will give you the opportunity to focus on the creation process without wasting your precious time on adjusting settings manually. With Movavi Video Suite, such things as improving video quality, noise removal, and background replacement can be done in the blink of an eye. Video Suite comes with the unlimited one-year access to the effects store. There are not only standard themed effects, but also unique overlay packs that are designed to help you create a cinematic color scheme and unique style of your video. You can use overlays to make your own intros, b-rolls, or transitions. The effects store has more than a dozen such overlay packs to offer, and new items are added to the collection every month. All this great variety of effects is available by subscription. And you can get Movavi Video Suite 2023 and the unlimited access to the effects store at 20% off. So click the link below to use our special offer. After the initial step is done, we still have to tweak a 
few things. We must set the title for the campaign and select the budget. As my title, I will use the name of the video as the budget, let's say, 100 bucks for a 6-day campaign. Don't forget to open networks and turn off video partners on display network. If you don't disable it, then in addition to YouTube, your ad will be shown on many other websites. That is not very cost-effective since we want to pay for relevant traffic. And when people are casually browsing the third-party sites, watching YouTube videos isn't something they want to do. Next, set up the targeted location. I will choose the USA, Canada, and the UK. These are the three most common countries with the native English speakers. And as the language, I'll set it to English. So for instance, to target India, we should remove all the selected countries from here and choose India, Indonesia, and some other countries where this topic is also relevant and leave the English language. Thus, we will target the residents of India and Indonesia who speak English. Don't make any changes to content exclusion and go to related videos. Here, you can add links to videos that will appear next to the ad. But we won't do that today. Now let's move on to the main attraction, setting up targeting. There are four main parameters to customize, audience segments, keywords, topics, and placements. I suggest setting up a separate ad group for each parameter, because if you simultaneously select specific YouTube channels, audiences, and keywords, then the parameters may interfere with each other. As a result, you will show your ads only on specific channels for only viewers who looked for selected queries, and at the same time they must belong to one of the audiences you had chosen before. Such an overlap will simply kill all the effectiveness. I will show you how to set up all parameters except for topics, since this parameter gives very strange results. You do get a lot of views, but their quality is far from perfect. So let's call it a no-no for now. To begin with, let's choose our keywords. The easiest way to find the best keywords is to type in the short description of your video. I will type YouTube ads. I will choose a couple of good ones from this list of suggested keywords and add a few of my own that are relevant to the topic. If you have vidIQ, it will give you more suggestions. Next, give this campaign paint a name, choose a bid, in my case it's 7 cents, and click save. I recommend you to set a bid in price lower than YouTube suggests, simply to maximize the output. It would be wise to start from small bids and slowly increase them with time, but that's up to you. Next, we need to repeat the same process for placements. To do it, you need to do some research first. See what channels you are rivaling. You can do it in the YouTube Studio, for example. Look for the other channels that your audience watches section and simply copy the URLs to the ad campaign settings. Then save the ad group once again. Finally, we'll set up the ad group for audience segments. And it gets a little tricky here. Google, by default, will give you some suggestions to choose from, but sometimes you may need to enter them yourself. To do it, open the audience management tool. Next, create an audience by keywords. Select people who search for any of these items on Google and insert the keywords. But hey, we already have one ad campaign with keywords, why do another? The ad campaign we created previously will advertise our video in all videos that contain these keywords. But the ad campaign based on audience segments with keywords will show the ad to everyone who were interested in this topic in the past month. And people will see your ad everywhere, not only on videos with specific keywords. This means more traffic for you. The conversion rate will probably go down a bit, but the views will be more relevant. Save it, wait for processing, and add to the list of chosen audience segments. Additionally, you can target your campaign on your previous viewers or on people who were affected by the previous ad campaign. Go to Browse and choose how they have interacted with your business, YouTube users. Here, you can specify which type of activities you are interested in by holding a cursor over the category of interaction, you will see the potential reach you can get. That's a really handy feature for recovering the lost traffic or reminding people of your existence. After the campaign is finished, you will be able to see how each ad group performed. You will see how much you paid for clicks, the number of clicks, CTR for each request, 
etc. Plus, the stats will tell you the demographics, who clicked, their age and gender, where these clickers were from, all that. Based on that info, you will be able to more precisely target the ad campaign, eliminating poorly performing categories, keywords, audience groups, etc. To exclude the audience or keyword, press on a green dot and choose exclude from ad group. Additionally, it would be helpful to exclude the viewers of your channel from the ad campaign so you won't pay for existing audience. To do it, go to audience, scroll down to exclusions and search for subscribe. Then select the preferred option and save changes to the ad campaign. By tweaking the parameters of ad groups, including or excluding elements, you will be able to tailor your ad campaign specifically for your needs. It is very important to pay attention to proper ad setup because if if you won't do that, your money will simply get wasted. As you see, YouTube promotion through Google Ads isn't all that difficult. It's relatively cheap and is really easy to set up. Some elements need more work than others, but that's the best way to promote small, newly created channels. YouTube search will probably give better results, but it requires much more work to be done, most of which is out of reach for small channels. I really hope this video was useful to you. If so, smash that like button and subscribe to to the channel so you won't miss any secrets of YouTube. Thank you very much for watching and see you soon.